Hello, welcome to another talk on money, business, and investing. My name is Jose. I'm the founder of the company and brain here, a master investor. And sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so that we know when we go live or upload a valuable talk that can literally change our financial lives forever. I want to start by saying our mission here at Master Investor. We are more than investment and capital management company, and specifically for this channel and the financial education department that we have. We created a mission, which is to elevate the financial well-being of humanity through high quality financial education made simple. We look at opportunities to build passive income and true wealth. The reason why I like to start with the mission is because I want to emphasize on the importance of having a mission for our businesses and brands that we are building. Mission, team, leadership, cash flow, communications, systems, legal and product. At the A Integrities that composes a great business. We talk about them in some of our ebook, How to Build Cash Flow with the Internet Turn Passive Income On. We can find the link in the description of this video. Make sure you leave a comment or a question or any sort of feedback. We appreciate the time that we are all investing in this amazing dialogue where we are going to improve our financial IQ. We're going to talk about what is investing and how we can become an inside investor so that we can have access to the best investments that exist which the poor and middle class are kept away from. Not only the best investments are they kept away from, but also the worst investments. And that's what the SECT is there for, the Security Exchange Commissions. That was the reason why it was created, to protect the public, or I should say the financial illiterate or the financial uneducated investor. And usually these individuals are passive investors, and those are the ones that lack financial education. They end up giving the money away to other people to invest it for them. And we're going to cover a little bit about that because investing can mean different things to a lot of people. In fact, it means different things to different people. And that's what creates some sort of confusion in this subject of investing in business, which is complex. But we're going to make it simple and we're going to make sure that we go through every single detail of investing so that we can improve our positive cash flow. An inside investor has a financial plan. Investing is having a financial plan. It's not a procedure or product like many people think. A lot of investors which they call themselves investors and that's why it's confusing because there are a lot of people out there calling themselves investors but they are not investors because what they're doing is not necessarily investing at least not what an inside investor or master investor does okay they focus and they usually become in love to the vehicle that they're using at that moment it could be a stocks and they focus on a product which is a stock and the procedure, which is trading, buying, holding, and praying that it's gonna go up so that they can sell it and get gains or known as capital gains income. And that's what majority of people in the world is doing. And others are just giving their money away to other people to invest it for them and they think that that is investing. So when we have any sort of capital we need to have an investment plan. We need to have the ability to have an awareness on what type of vehicles we are going to be required to put together to fulfill that investment plan. So the first step is to figure out where we want to be financially in the near future because an investment plan is not a product or procedure, it's a plan to take us from financially point A where we are today to point B where we want to be tomorrow. And we want to have vehicles that will get us there quickly 
we don't necessarily want to own the vehicles. We want to control the vehicles. So forget about owning vehicles when it comes to investing because we want to use them to provide us positive cash flow so that we can go from financially point A where we are, meaning how much is our cash flow today. And remember to create a million dollars a year on positive cash flow, we broke it down. That was $83,000 a month. That's 2,700 roughly around there per day. That's about $115 per hour, $1.90 per minute every single day for the entire year that is a million dollars on positive cash flow as long as we have of course more coming in that is paying for all the expenses bottom line is after all expenses are paid and that's what we're focusing on what is our positive cash flow we want to get there quickly and so where we are today we need to figure that out by understanding our personal financial statement and we can download one that is blank that we put together on our digital course for all of our members. So when we have access to our ebook, How to Build Cash Flow with the Internet by getting it through our website, we will have additional assets that we are adding in there as we move forward. Everything is changing, so we're editing and we're adding exclusive interviews with wealth entrepreneurs and successful investors that are having success in that topic of that volume so that we can emphasize and learn more from the ones that are having success in the field of investing in business and we can cover a lot of different areas because we have to keep an open mind that's another thing that i want to mention on this extraordinary video is that we want to have an open mind to listen to different opinions when it comes to investing and different points of view so that we can see both sides of the coin and a lot of times if we can see out there in the world and study the ultra wealthy individuals and I said this on the last video is that we master the ability to build a business and our businesses ultimately buy as other businesses or the assets so we use the cash flow from our businesses to purchase other investments and we have access to the best investments because our businesses can afford them we don't personally afford them the businesses can afford them and now we're playing the real game of money. And we must also understand that money is not real. It's an idea backed up by confidence. It's monopoly money, it's fiat money, it's paper money. And how do we leverage that? By using debt, good debt. Using debt in the form of a loan from a bank. It could be a private investor. It could be family and friends. And we're going to use that to be able to build a successful investment plan that we're going to acquire assets that produce passive income. And specifically, we're gonna use that debt to invest in different vehicles, investment vehicles. We don't want to fall in love with the vehicle, with the product or procedure. And remember, there are five different asset classes. And investing can be confusing because people are calling trading investing, and trading is trading buying holding and praying and just like a real estate flipper who calls himself an investor because he or she is buying a property fixing it and then selling it to get some gains capital gains and that is not investing that is trading that is the same thing as buying a stock holding it and waiting for it to go up that doesn't take any financial intelligence to do that and a lot of times when that is already shown in the market, the product and the procedure or the investment is showing on for everybody. The party is over, too late for the party. The real money was already made by the inside investor, by the true investor. And how do we know who is a true investor? Well, we have to look at the way we make our money, the way we approach money, the way we think about what is investing, which is investing is a plan. It's not a product or a procedure. And we don't fall in love with the investment vehicles because remember, since we have an investment plan, so for whatever money that we have right now, we should have an investment plan for every single dollar, for every amount that we collect or that we have 
in our possession, whether it's our own capital or somebody else's capital, OPM, other people's money, the bank's money, right? We want to use as much debt as possible because debt is tax-free, money is created with debt. When we understand that and we can be comfortable by asking the right questions and raising capital because the job number one of a wealthy entrepreneur is to raise capital. The number one skill is to master selling without selling using systems and smart marketing, right? It's not about hard selling. It's about finding a group of people that are looking for what we have to offer, which is a product, a solution, but we don't have to fall in love with that product or the procedure in which we're making the transaction happen. What we want to do is just simply focus on acquiring more investment plans and delivering that, executing on that investment plan, getting the right vehicles under our control so that we can create a passive income, we can now position ourselves in financial point B where we want it to be in the future and then now we have a new plan because now we have more capital coming in. So a lot of people that are investing out there that they say they're investing, which they're not, they are traders, they are gamblers, they're, many are losers, and they are listening to the wrong people, and that's why they have those trades, which at the end confuses the people that are attempting to look for the right data, which that's what we're doing here. We're fulfilling that need of true financial education and how to become a true financial investor. So it's not about what investment is better or not because it means diff different things for different people you see so we need to understand that and we need to be okay by listening to the feedback we may have an investment that may be good for us or may not be good for us we need to take a look at that it's a very personal advice and that's what we need to focus on because investing Advice is a personal advice. It's something, and I said that yesterday on our video, right? I said that we need to take our personal route when it comes to building wealth. Like everybody needs to create their own route. It means different things for different people. And a lot of times people focus only on their passions when it comes to investing and they fall in love with their vehicle and that's where they make the mistake because then they mess on the bigger vehicles that are available in different asset classes which we say we have to diversify in different asset classes not just in one asset class because as we have an investment plan we may need different assets from different asset class to get there quickly we want to we want to get there safely and at a decent time we need to move there quickly and then get there and then now we have a new investment plan to multiply the new capital that we have coming in from our freedom units or our assets that we're controlling, right? So controlling is more important than owning. We don't want to really own because we might have to use debt to acquire these assets. So at the end of the day, the banks are con owning those debts that we have. And it's good debt because the debt service or the interest and everything that we need to pay back to the bank is being paid by the revenue of that business, which we acquire and whatever is left is our positive cash flow. And when we use 100% financing, then that positive cash flow is infinite return on investment because we have zero capital of our own investing in that deal. It's a big difference when we talk about creating wealth like the ultra wealthy. Average investors do not have the data and the knowledge to create and build successful businesses businesses that people want to become part of, true brands. And that requires financial education. Exactly what we are doing right now, investing in our financial education, is what many people out there in the world are lacking. And that's why they will always be in the same point. They never get to advance because they fell in love with the procedure and product. They didn't have an investment plan. Investing is having a plan. It's not a product or procedure. Make sure we write that down because that's something that we're going to piggyback along the way. It's something that we're going to talk about and I want us to be on the same 
frequency when it comes to our vocabulary and business. And words are the most powerful tools that humans have ever created. Right? And that means that we have to improve our business vocabulary. We need to figure out every day some time to read. That's why we have our newsletter. I want to encourage everyone who's watching this right now to go ahead and subscribe to our newsletter. Go to our website. Get our three books right now that we have available. The 10 New Rules of Money. How to Build Cash Flow with the Internet. Turn passive income on and how to invest in crypto to build wealth. Different investment vehicles for different types of people. We have to have an investment plan because that's what investing is, is an investment plan. So whatever money we have right now, we have to have a plan before we even begin to invest. So for those who have been saving money and want to start investing before you start buying stocks, have an investment plan because just buying stocks is not investing and we're building true leaders and sign investors and wealthy entrepreneurs right here in this channel that's what this community is all about take a look at our mission and the channel that's what we're going to focus on we have to talk about things that other people are not talking about out there we're going to give the insights of the ultra wealthy mindset everything that we have here is authentic and we're going to make sure that we lead in the financial education field. We are the global brand of money, business, and investing. Master Investor, welcome to our amazing community. I appreciate everyone tuning in and leaving good feedback and also authentic feedback, right? Uh, we can all help the community improve. So we are going to be releasing our new book, very soon how to raise capital to build wealth because the job number one of a wealth entrepreneur is to raise capital and we have to be comfortable and every business has to be built to raise capital otherwise it doesn't have business integrity which means a business has to have profits and it has to create it on autopilot without us having to be present in that business we're not an asset of that business and the difference of majority of people is that they go and they get into a profession they pay a lot to study that they usually come out with a title with a license and we need those types of people in the world different professionals that they love to do what they do in those fields however there are certain people that are in those fields and they don't want to be in those fields so people invest in different things and that's what makes us who we are what are we investing on every day, right? People invest in security and benefits. Majority of people, the self-employed employee invests in those things. And that's why they are where they are financially. That's why they usually end up never figuring out how to have money working hard for them. Like we do here, a true investor, a, an inside investor, a master investor, we multiply money. That's our job is that we multiply money through sound investing. And we do it successfully, actively, meaning that we're involved in doing it. We're not giving our money away to anybody to do it for us. There's a big difference on that and being actively investing. Be an active investor to be a master investor. It's the only way. A passive investor lacks financial education and he or she is getting capital gains income in the future it may never get those capital gains income so those investments vehicles are considered liabilities to a true inside investor because we understand that a true investment or an asset puts money into our pocket right now okay not in the future right now and we can see that cash flow coming in through our bank accounts that we have attached to those businesses and majority of people invest in those things that ultimately makes their skills become marketable and to the world and so they sell that that that's what becomes an asset to them their own skills and that's why they get stuck in the rat race as we call it 
even the people that love to do what they are doing, they should always learn how to invest and how to prepare for the time when they don't want to work anymore. Okay, so we want to make sure that we are all prepared for any type of economy and have the means to supplement any income that you're making right now, even through the profession that you love so much. So in reality, our content is for everybody because we understand that money is a subject that we all have to deal with to the end of our lives. Money is gonna be here forever. And we need to learn how to master the ability to make money work hard for us. We need to control money. We cannot let money control us. We need to understand that investing is a plan. And we need to have one. And we need to check that every day. We need to be flexible because as we get wealthier, we get more cash flow. We have to have an investment plan for the new cash flow. And we should never invest without a plan regardless of how good it sounds. And it's not about giving our money away to anybody because that does not take us to true wealth. We need to take action and sit down and figure out how we're going to go from financially plan A, point A to financially point B. Different types of investors that exist. We want to tap into the ensign investor because that unlocks true wealth. It allows us to become part of the best investments because our businesses are buying those investments and we are considered to be wealthy. And so we have the ability, the SEC, Security Exchange Commissions, allows us to become part and take risk on those investments that bring in high returns on investments, which a lot of times is 35% and above. And many times, even more, a thousand and more. So a true master investor, there's no limit to how much money we can make because we have the ability to create the type of investment plan and deliver on that investment plan by acquiring the right vehicles. And it has to be maybe different vehicles from the get-go, right? It depends on how strong or how big that investment plan is. So what do we need? right now to get that going, to get that investment plan fulfilled. Five different asset classes that exist, business, real estate, crypto, paper assets, commodities. And in all those asset classes, we can break it down in different subdivisions or subcategories. You know, like the stocks, we have preferred stock, common stock, etc. On and on and on. Real estate, we have industrial real estate, we have commercial real estate, multifamily, etc. On and on and on. Commodities, precious metals, right? Gold, silver. And on and on and on. That's what we need to understand that investing is complex, but we can make it simple by following the formula of the ultra wealthy, by playing by the new rules of money, by understanding that we need a wealth foundation and see the world of too much money. Can we see a world of too much money? Because there are two problems when it comes to money. The lack of money, or too much money. And as a true investor, remember, we have three E's to accomplish in order for us to call ourselves a master investor. The three E's, financial education, financial experience, and excess of cash flow. Okay, and excess of cash flow has to come in from the assets that we're controlling, the different investment vehicles, and we don't fall in love with the vehicle ever we're going to use the vehicles to go to go from point a financially to point b financially and we're going to use the capital and control those 
asses as long as we can. Hopefully we can continue to hold them for the rest of our lives. And that's the purpose and the goal. And have as much good debt as possible so that we can go ahead and leverage tax-free wealth. Think about that. It's not how much money we make, it's how much money we keep. And also how much money we keep working from those profits right the surplus is supposed to be treated treated as a good expense meaning that we have already a plan for that surplus we're not treating it as an asset we're going to treat it as a good expense meaning that we already have an investment plan like i said a lot of people get to celebrate with their profits there's nothing wrong with having fun and getting rewarded for the things that we're doing. I always say, you know, to keep us motivated, it's good to invest in and acquire liabilities that we want, but let's make sure that those liabilities are being acquired with the assets that we're controlling first. And that revenue needs to pay for those liabilities expenses. We don't want to be a slave to paying for a liability with our personal and physical work we want to have the businesses and the people that take care of those businesses be able to go ahead and create the revenue that we will use then to pay for the liabilities that we're going to acquire and that's the true master investor mindset is to be able to have real investment vehicles in different asset classes. We're not falling in love with a certain procedure. And even if we like real estate, because that's one of our passions, we're not going to fall in love with just real estate. We're going to learn about different asset classes so that we become more aware of the different investment vehicles that exist so that we can leverage or quantum leap ourselves to financial wealth. And this age and the information age is amazing because we can literally tap into unlimited wealth quickly, faster than ever. We can go through the process of becoming an inside investor very quickly because of technology and everything that we have available, this connection that we have now, right? Through these platforms that are amazing like YouTube and all the platforms that exist right now for social media and the new ones that are going to be evolving as we move forward in this information age. It's an amazing time to be living, but we need to take responsibility of our choice of content and what we do in regards to our goals and how we train our minds we have to be willing to get the information that we don't know so knowledge is the new money and we have unlimited amounts of knowledge so we should never give up on the fact that we have to learn a master a true master is always learning as a student we're always teaching other people as well because when we teach remember the three things that we do here inside of our community we learn something new we apply it in our lives and then we teach somebody else about what we're doing so that we can then even get it under our belt higher than anybody else because we are applying repetition and repetition brings awareness and improvement because we can always improve that's the beautiful thing about life we can always get better a little better and when it comes to money we have to study about money and what is investing and what it means to a true master investor right and it means different to different people but here inside of our community we are becoming inside investors a true leader as well right that's what we're developing true leaders and wealth entrepreneurs raising capital is our job as a wealth entrepreneur is to raise capital from the front end building a business that is bringing in sales on autopilot through sales funnels and systems and pay advertisement that we're doing and we can delegate all of this in fact we go through the entire steps inside of our digital course how to build cash flow with the internet turn passive income on so make sure you click the link somewhere on this video so that we can have access to all the digital assets that we have and when we get in today the great thing about our assets that 
as we move forward, the price on those assets will go up on those digital courses because the assets within that course or within that asset will have more value as we add exclusive interviews with wealth entrepreneurs, celebrities, inside investors, and the ultra wealthy to emphasize more on the topic of whatever volume we're going to be studying, okay? And we will have access to those assets at no additional cost. When we get in today at whatever time we get in, whatever asset goes after that time that we get in, any asset will be added into our bolt of that digital course at no additional cost. And that's for everybody, okay? And that's forever, we're gonna keep that going. Imagine now when you get in today and that asset in five years, 10 years from now, is gonna be way more. And you're gonna just get it for the price of today, which is gonna be a fraction. So my invitation is genuine and I wanna connect even deeper in the inner circle. Go ahead and head over to our website. We have great products and services to help us understand how to build true wealth. Let me know what you think of today's talk. Write down your comments. I appreciate you being here. And remember that investing means different things for different people. Investing can be complicated due to the fact that it has a lot of branches. However, we're gonna keep it super simple. We're going to read financial statements. We need to understand where we are financially today. And we need to have a plan because that's what investing is. It's having a plan to go from where we are today financially in regards to our positive cash flow, if we have any assets or how much is our cash flow today per day. And then we need to get to the next level. And that is our investment plan that we need to put into action. And we need to figure out which investment vehicles we're going to acquire right now to fulfill that investment plan. And every day and every week we need to revisit that plan and we need to build new investment plans as we get more profits from our businesses. And our businesses need to make a profit from the front end, like I mentioned, from the sales funnels, from the customers buying the products, and also from the back end because we have the eight integrities that I mentioned earlier on the video to make sure that we have a successful business running that turns into a brand, the legalities are in order, we're protecting the unique products that we're creating so no competitors can take it away from us. We have a logo that is registered, trademark, we have patents in place if they need to be in place, and we have the boring things as we call it, right? The legalities, a lot of people miss the legalities at the beginning and they end up paying even more to try to fix things that they should have handle from the beginning. So trying to save money can cost you a lot more money in the future. Let's not be that type of individual when it comes to building our businesses. Let's treat our small businesses like big businesses so that we don't mess anything, okay? Legalities need to be in place. We need to understand the different levels or the different types of investors so that we choose our path and we need to figure out how we're going to get started right now and if we have a business that is making us money then we need to figure out how we're going to go from point a where we are today to point b okay and we need more than one investment vehicle thank you for having me bring you the good and bad news of money the business principles of work in all economies make sure that we share like and comment when we have something of value and we share it that's when it becomes a treasure Stay extraordinary and wealthy. Bye for now.